hello everyone i am josh kartik and here we are going to understand that basic requirement of protective scheme there are mainly seven basic requirement and uh, we can uh, understand one by one so uh, uh, let me tell you that this is a very very imp topic from for the exam so please be careful and uh, uh, please be concentrate here so first one is reliability reliability of protective scheme it shows the quality of a protective scheme lesser the prob probability of failure higher is the reliability we can understand here that line what the line is saying that let assume that this is this is a transmission line this is one ct circuit breaker and this is relay relay will give the signal when the fault current passing through the transmission line to the circuit breaker and circuit breaker will be open and fault will be clear so let assume that there are 100 times fault uh, occurring within uh, 6 month or 1 year and only one time relay will not be able to sense the fault current and operation will not be happen and hence the fault will damage all our system in 100 times only one time it will be happen so we can say that there are 99 percent of reliability of protective scheme as uh, we assume that there are five times relay not operate so we can say that 95 percent reliability of protective scheme so by this example we can say that as the reliability of protective scheme is high there are no chances for damage our equipment and we can uh, say that there are safe operation so now to improve the reliability following step can be considered what are those steps by we can improve the reliability of our protective scheme keep the design of protective protective scheme simple as we can understand that as the design of protective scheme is simple then the operation will be simple and time taken to complete the action will be in short time or we can say that in less time so the operation will be quite possible and there are reliability of the system is high second proper maintenance at periodic time can improve the reliability as uh, we know that if the maintenance of any device is uh, uh, low so there are more chances to damage our equipment so as we increase the maintenance cycle we can say that the reliability of the protective scheme increase knowledge of protective protective knowledge of operating person regarding protective scheme as the knowledge of that person is high there are more chances to solve problem problem in a short time and we can say that uh, there are high reliability so these are three steps by we can improve the uh, reliability of our system now we can go to the second protective uh, scheme step that selectivity selectivity what is the selectivity it is the property of protective scheme to select and disconnect faulty part from the system without affecting rest of the system that means we can uh, understand this line here let us assume that uh, this is the transmission line transmission line uh, carries the power through it suppose that this is a, a point this is a b point this is a c point okay and fold occur between a point and b point so only a b part are disconnect to the system at the time when fault is clear that a b part remain come again to the system but this part will be not removed from the system this is called the selectivity selectivity is maybe two type absolute selectivity and relative selectivity 
uh, these two term we can uh, uh, say that it can be explained in this video afterward third one is sensitivity third one is sensitivity so uh, let assume that there are two relay one is a relay second is b relay a relay sensitivity means uh, when the fault current is minimum it can sense it it gives signal to circuit breaker circuit breaker is open let assume that one ampere just assume there are another relay name is b it only sends the current if the fault current is above 5 ampere so we can say that the sensitivity of a relay is higher than the sensitivity of b relay so as the sensitivity is high of a relay it's but obvious that cost of relay a is high than b but the sensitivity takes a major role in power system it express in operating quantity refer to primary of transducer however for relay the sensitivity is expressed as amp apparent power in the volt ampere required for this operation and if there are two relay with one uh, volt ampere and three volt ampere so one volt ampere relay is more sensitivity sensitive than three volt ampere now the fourth property discrimination no for properties discrimination uh, what is this property we can understand that uh, when transformer is connect to the transmission line and at the starting time when we turn on the switch high amount of inverse current flow through the transmission line that is called inverse current what is inverse current inverse current is the current that is uh, higher than rated current how many times 10 to 12 times higher than the rated current it's only pass to the starting time that means if you consider the a graph that is sub transient transient and then steady state the sub transient current is only pass through the transmission line in a very short duration of time that is called inverse current so if our relay work and sense that inverse current and relay gives to the signal to circuit breaker and circuit breaker will be open but it is inverse current and its flow at the starting period only it is not fault so our relay does not operate in this situation so that discrimination property plays a major role that our relay should not operate in this discrimination in this condition fifth one is speed the speed of protective scheme should be fast enough to avoid any possible damage to the equipment due to the fault uh, let assume that one relay work after 5 to 10 second then fault occur so what happen in this 5 to 10 second main equipment may be damaged may be some breakdown so it is not good our relay should operate within a millisecond let assume that in 20 millisecond our relay is operated then it is say that it is good relay but it does not use when 5 second or 10 second time required so speed of the our equipment should be high enough should be very high enough to avoid any possible damage to our system higher the speed of the operation lesser will be the damage to the equipment and then speed should not be so fast that rail operate even under switching or lighting transient because we can understand that in switching and lighting time the time will be in microsecond so the speed of the relay should not be high enough that it should operate 
otherwise uh, many time the relay gives the signal to the circuit breaker and circuit breaker will be open and we again restrike it so it is not good 6 1 is stability it is the property by virtue of it's not remain in operative under certain condition uh, let uh, we can understand this line here let assume that uh, this is a uh, one part say that a b this is one part then b c this is transmission line there is one relay there is one relay there is one relay so this relay only work in this part only this relay only work in this part only if this relay work in this part that what happen that this relay confuse that I should operate or not understand so this is a property of stability there are two property as we uh, saw on that earlier that unit protective scheme and non-unit protective scheme what is unit protective scheme the protective scheme which operate for the fault scheme which operate for the fault within its zone of protection it does not respond to any fault outside of its zone of protection and second one is non-unit protective scheme that means the protective scheme respond to the fault outside of its zone of protection that means we can uh, understand that line one minute here that uh, if we say that there are this is one zone say that a b this is one zone say that b c if this relay work only in this region only in this part so it is called unit protective scheme but this relay work in this part only as well as nearer part so it is called unit non-unit protective scheme okay and uh, last but not least economy that total cost of protective scheme of any equipment should not be more than six to eight percent of the total cost of equipment so economy should be say that uh, the providing cost should be as low as minimum and efficiency is as possible as high 